Welcome back everyone to Learning by Teaching. We're in statics and today we're going to do problem 6 study, okay? It says, determine the forcing members C, D, H, I, and C, H of the truss. And state if the members are in tension or compression, okay? So we got our truss me members over here. And the ones that we want to calculate are C, D, H, I, and C, H. Therefore, for this problem, we're going to apply the method of section. So what the method of section is, is that we're going to take a cut in our, in our truss in order to figure out these forces, these member forces. So I'm going to cut over here and I'm going to call it section AA. So let's start with section AA. Okay. And after we do our cut, we need to say, hey, which side of this truss do I want to pick? So this is a key part of solving these problems because we want to make our lives as easier as we can. So if we look at our left side of our truss, what do we have? Well, we got some pins connection at A and K. Therefore, we got two unknown forces. We don't know what the reaction forces at A and K are. Therefore, we don't want to choose this side. Well, if we look on the other side, on my right side, we have only these 1500 pounds which we know and we don't have any more unknowns than just the members themselves so after we pick our side we draw a free body diagram okay so if we draw our free body diagram i think i drew an extra one so we don't need, we only need up to this guy, like this. That's where we cut it. Then we have our bottom. And lastly, this diagonal members. So this goes down and we will have this diagonal members, okay? Uh, we need to keep our forces that are going down. So we got 1500 pounds in here. We've also got 1500 pounds in here. And last, we got 1500 pounds in here. Okay. Now, since we cut this member in here, in that cut section, if we were to look internally at them, these force members should be doing some force. How much? We don't know, and that's how much we want to, that's what we want to calculate. So, for example, these over here will be my force CD because there must be a force that these members are applying. This guy over here will be my force H, uh, CH. Okay, and lastly, this will be my force HI. Okay, so we got our free body diagram. All we're going to do now is our sum of area forces in the x direction. What do we got in the x direction? We got negative F H I, so negative F H I minus the negative x component of C H. How much is that? Well, let's take a look what will be its angle or its distance. So we'll take a look here. It's 4 going up. So we got a triangle that is going, 4 going up. Then we got this amount going to the left, which is 3. So we got 3. And then we complete our... So this will give us a... I'm sorry, this is 4. Therefore, this will give us that the magnitude is 5. So we'll have 3 out of 5 of FCH. Why 3? Because that's my X component or my... Uh, horizontal component and then we got last minus FCD okay and then all this should be equal to zero but we don't know any of these guys so I'm gonna leave this equation as it is and I'm going to keep going with my summatory of forces in the y direction and what do we have in the y direction we got these negative forces that if we add them up will be 4500 Pounds. And we also got the negative of the vertical component of FCH. 
How much is the vertical component? It's 4 out of 5. So we got 4 out of 5 of F, C, H. And all this should be equal to 0. Okay? So if we solve for F, C, H, what do we get? Well, we'll have 5 out of 4. So we're going to pass this guy to the other side, but we're going to multiply by 5 and divide by 4. So if I move this guy to, the, guy to the other side, this becomes positive, but this one remains negative on the other side. So negative 4,500 pounds. Okay, we're gonna take our calculator, solve this. We got five divided by four, multiply by negative 4,500, and that will give me negative 5,625. So negative 5,625 uh, 5, pounds, okay? This negative means that my force is in the opposite direction, meaning in compression, okay? Last, we can do is a summatory of moments with respect to a point. Now, which point do we pick? So as you may know, the point that we're going to pick is the one that cancels the biggest amount of unknowns that we have. So in my case, I want to put it at my point C, this point here, because my force CH doesn't have a um, distance with respect to that point C, and also my FCD, so this point over here. So this is my point C, okay? And all we have left is this 1,500 pound forces and also my force HI. So we're going to do a summatory of moments about my point C and what do we have? Let's just start with our 1500 pounds. So if we were to get our thrust member like this and we were to push it down from here, it will go clockwise. And for me, clockwise is negative. So I'm going to put negative 1500 pounds multiplied by the distance. So what's the distance between this guy? So over here, we can see it's three fifths. So multiply by 3 minus another 1500 multiplied by what's the distance between C and this point E over here. So it will be 3 plus 3 that gives me a 6 minus 1500 multiplied by the distance between point C and my point F. And that should be equal to 9. So we're just increasing by 3. Okay, so we're done with this guy, this guy and that guy. All we're left is FHI. So FHI, so if I'm holding here down and I'm applying a force going to the X, this thing is wants to, to rotate counterclockwise and for for me it's positive. So we're gonna have positive FHI multiplied by the distance. So what's the distance? It's just simply four feet. Okay, so I'm gonna multiply by four. And all this long equation should be equal to zero. Okay? So what I'm going to do is that all these negative forces, I'm going to pass them to the other side and they're going to become positive. And we're going to add them up. So we're going to have that 4 times FHI got to be equal to 1500 times 3. That will give me 4500. 1500 multiplied by 6, that should be equal to 9000 and 1500 times 9 and that's equal to 13,500 Okay, so finally if we add them up and we divide by 4, what do we get? So let's add these guys up. We got 4500 plus 9000 plus 13,500, that will give me 27,000 divided by 4. And what is that equal to? So divided by 4, we get 16,750 pounds, okay? So we got our result for FHI and FCH. All we need is to solve for FCD in here. So I'm going to pass FCD to the other side Therefore, FCD should be equal to 
the negative of these two guys. So it will be negative 6,750 minus 3 fifths of SCH, which is negative 5,625. And what is this equal to? So F C D is equal to, so we plug this in the calculator, so we get negative 6,750 minus 3 over 5 multiplied by negative 5,625 and this will give me negative 3,375 pounds, okay? Now, the question is asking me to state if their members are intention in compression. So the last thing I'm going to do is just I'm going to write our answers in here, our final answers. So we start with FCD is equal to 3,375 pounds in compression. Why in compression? Because we got a negative guy in here. Next one, FCH is going to be equal to, what do we got in 5,625 pounds in compression as well. As we can see, we got a negative. And that last one, FHI, is equal to 6,750. In touch. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, that will be helpful. Please also subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.